yo, yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Stevie, and welcome back to another brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Dodo Loco server. Guys, we are super, super excited to be playing on the Dodo Loco server. We're playing with a bunch of other YouTubers, as always. Their links are in the description down below. Go over and check them out. So, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for your support on the last video. Didn't do as well as I thought it was going to do, but hey ho, it is what it is. You can't win them all, so I really hope you do go on to enjoy today's video. So, just to recap, guys, last episode, we went and tamed ourselves a dung beetle. Now, he's around here somewhere. There he is. What's he doing all the way over there? We went and tamed ourselves a little dung beetle. He's level 205 now. Well, he's got some of levels, and he's got a bunch of fertilizer in him. So, I'm going to level up his weight, of course. So the more poo that we can shove in him. So we've got our dung beetle. Let's just uh, pick you up. Chuck you over there. Uh, we went over to the penguin island. Over that way. And we got polymer. We got polymer for days. But you know I thought it was a wasted trip. But you know we made our fridges. And we got fridges. We got industrial grill. We got all that kind of good stuff. And the house is a little bit different guys as you can see. Got all my birds lined up on the top. We had this bit on this side as well, but it was too big for what we needed. So, oh, lovely, lovely, top up our canteen, beautiful. Uh, so, I'm going to show you around, guys. This is the outside of the house. Uh, so, basically, I've took off this side, and uh, we've just got first and second floor. I've got this little, like, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing side porch thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyway, we're going to go inside. Uh, you got your main foyer. We've got our chest lined up here. We've got two little monkeys. I did get another monkey. I've got this ginger one here, or orange one. 210. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put our chemistry table right here. So if we go out the back, we've got just the back entrance. Uh, but we've got another door here that we can put our generator in here. Because the chemistry table needs a generator and gasoline. So quite a lot just to be able to use it so we can put that there go in here you've got your workshop just like we had in the older base but I've got loads and loads of metal smeltering up smeltering up uh, we've got fabricator smithy so let's just go up the stairs so you come in here you go up the stairs and then you've got some more storage chests right here with all my other stuff in Two little rooms either side, just for uh, spawn points. So little bedrooms, one there and one there. And then you come in here, and then this is like our kitcheny type place. We've got a generator, we've got fridges, industrial grill. Um, got a backup generator as well, just in case. It's all linked up to power, as you can see. There's a yellow power cord on the floor right there. And we've got some chests. And here is going to be a perfect fit. For our industrial cooker. I've got to take the roofs off to put it in I would imagine because just like this it sticks out the top but once we get into our industrial cooker we'll be able to place it right here. So that is the new sort of base guys. In time we will modernize it you know we will upgrade it just to make it look awesome but for now this is what our base is looking like. So it looks absolutely awesome. So guys today today's episode I forgot to say today's episode we're going to be making our greenhouse. We're going to be making an epic greenhouse with a dung beetle cage slash pen slash house. <laughs> house for our dung beetle inside the greenhouse. Uh, this is where we're going to be building the greenhouse right here. I've already laid out the wooden foundations for it. So it's going to be a three by two, three, four, five. These back bits here are going to be stone foundations and I'll show you why later on in today's video so I've uh, been gathering up a bunch of resources every day before work I'll hop on the server for an hour or, or two and go and gather up loads of stuff in preparation for you know videos so I've got nothing in our smithy at the moment uh, but I've been learned I've learned the greenhouse engrams um, so let's have a look let's go all the way down to the greenhouse like I say have a learn them so we've got the walls, ceiling, door, door. Slope roofs, weird angle roofs, and I'm pretty sure there was a flat roof somewhere. 
Oh yeah, ceiling, right. So I've learned all of that. So let's see what we need in order to make the greenhouse. So we need metal, crystal and cementing paste. So we've got some metal cooking up here. So let's just take the metal out of here. And I've got some cementing paste for days. Oh, no, I want that. I don't want to put it back in. So let's uh, chop that in there. Oh, chop that in there. I should have some cementing paste. Yeah, we got cut all that. We got loads. So let's just take all of that. Let's go chop that all in there. Oop. Uh, what did we say? Crystal. So I've got loads of metal, loads of crystal. So let's just try and take as much crystal as we can. Before we're over and burden. That's about it. Oh, we're really slow. So let's just transfer all that in there. Right, I'm going to carry on transferring items, guys. Like metal, cementing paste and all that kind of good stuff. And once I've crafted everything up, I'm going to go put it in this little storage box out here. And then I think I'm going to bring you guys back. And then we'll be ready to start the build on our amazing greenhouse. So I'll catch you in a few seconds, guys. Alright, guys, we are back. I've been making a bunch of materials. Uh, by the way, I can't remember if I told you guys. But while I was off camera, I did tame another Anki. I got, oh, and we got eggs. So I got a female Anki. She was level 135. So now we've got the mate boost and we've got the eggs. So we've got two Ankylos. Oh, scorpion eggs as well. I need to pick up all these eggs. Uh, Fates Gaming did give me this bear. We've got a level 196 bear. But we need to go and find ourselves a higher bear, higher level bear, because, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit in a second. Let me just gather up the rest of these eggs. No quet eggs. Cool. Right, let's go put all these eggs away very, very quickly, and I'll, I'll tell you what we've got planned. We are going to be doing the big ice cave. We're going to be doing the main ice cave. The, the whole server is uh, going to be getting together uh, Saturday night, I believe. Uh, so you'll probably watch the video Sunday or Monday, hopefully. Uh, but we're going to get together. We're going to go in and explore the cave. It's the ice cave, so we need a swimmer. So hopefully a, a decent level bear or a decent level beaver with high melee damage and oxygen. And uh, yeah, we're going to explore the cave, try and get the artifact and have such a good time doing so. So that would be absolutely ex um, exciting. So we need to find ourselves a higher level die bear or uh, a beaver. Something that swims really fast and something that can defend itself. I painted one of my Rexes. I really wanted to paint one of my Rexes albino. Uh, I think it was it was one of the 150s. So we've got a 150 white one now. 150 green one. And then this was the black one. The 135 that we tamed. I think episode 2 maybe. Or episode 3. But anyway, I've made up a bunch of stuff, so let's get cracking with today's build. It might just be a complete building episode today, not too sure, but, you know, we'll see how we get on. So, let's try and grab as much as we can out of here. So, like I said, we've got, we've got a 3x5, uh, so we're going to go put some stuff on a hot bar, let's get rid of that. We've got enough food, we've got enough water, so we are good to go. Just put all of this on our hot bar. Uh, right, so we want this stone, that stone, that stone, that stone. These two we're going to get rid of. Uh, we're not going to get rid of them yet. Let me uh, just go and get another foundation. Uh, what do I need? Wood. Wood, thatch, and probably fibre. No, that's hide. Fibre. Right, let's make let's make one of them foundations quick. I think we'll actually destroy it yet because it'll affect us how we put a wall in. Uh, so stone, wooden found that wooden foundation. There we go. Yeah, it'll affect us how we put a wall in um, later on. So we need to fill that gap back in actually. Let's go fill the gap back in. So, right, so we've got sort of like a layout. 
what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and put the door in first. Right guys, I've made some more walls and I've made a few little changes to the greenhouse. I've took a wall off the top. I don't think we're going to need it that big for what we actually need. I mean, we only need it for our basic crops. I mean, berries, narco berries. We can use our trike and we can use our beaver to go and get them because it's fun and we can level up as well at the same time. So I've took a wall off. Uh, but we need to put, and I've changed all this back bit to glass now. But I'm thinking of changing these two walls to glass as well. We need to go ahead and put that up there. So I've got some sloped, uh, sloped panels here. So we've got six of them. We'll just take all of them, just to be on the safe side, and we'll take them as well. And we'll, uh, we'll put some of this heavy stuff away. I don't think we're going to need it. But we'll put it in here just in case. So we've got a spare wall. So let's go ahead and put the spare wall away. Uh, I've made a bunch of irrigation pipes as well. I didn't realise it was quite cheap to actually make them. So I've gone ahead and made loads of them. So guys, I guess this is turning out to be a building episode. I really hope that you don't mind. 
Uh, but if we've got enough time, we can uh, we'll put the chemistry table in definitely. But I think what I'm going to do is next episode before we go out on our adventure to the ice cave with the whole server, we are going to go and look for a um, a higher level dire bear that we need to tame up. Right, so I think here we're going to need... Damn. Right, let's get rid of that. I know what I'm going to need here. I'm going to need a... Uh, what's one of them? Stone sloped... Stone slope roof. So, it's a good job we put all our stuff in here. Let's get everything back out. Now we need... So, craftables. Right, so we need... Let's go for one of them. One of them. One of them. Maybe get a couple of windows. I'm rubbish with uh, the left and right system. You put them in and then they sort of switch and then it's the wrong one. And Oh, it's just a pain in the ass. Absolute pain. Right, so. Let's, uh, is it that? No, see, it's, that's the wrong one already. So we want the left one. Right, like that. And then... Uh, we had three windows, so let's try. Let's try this out. So let's put a window there, window there, and let's put the plain wall on at the top. Like that. Let's see what that looks like quickly. Oh, that don't look too bad. Because up here we can probably put, you know. Some storage chests or, or something. We'll, we'll figure something out to put up here. So now we can go ahead and put the roof on. Looking good. Looking good. Hoping I've got enough. Oh. Yeah, we've got enough. We've got enough for this. And then the final piece. No! <laughs> oh, no! It's a good job I made enough. And one more. There we go. There we go. So now that's all blocked off up there. So we can go ahead and put some stuff up here. Some storage chests maybe. Uh, not too sure. Maybe, yeah, we can put some storage chests up here. Maybe our compost bins up here. Or maybe even we could put a Fiomi up here. So we can have our own little poop machine. So... Hmm. Interesting. I have to leave that one with me for now. We've got a dung beetle cage. Dung beetles in there. <laughs> right, so let's go and have a look, see what this looks like from the outside. Hey, look at that. That looks lovely, that does. That looks great. Right, so we need the irrigation system now. So let's go ahead and chuck all of this away. Don't need all of this now. Yeah, maybe I'll just transfer all items so that'll be easier. Right, there we go. Right, let's get these railings out. Uh, the reservoirs. Let's just get all the irrigation pipes out. Hopefully we can carry them all. Yeah, no problem at all. Look at that, no problem at all. Right, so this is the tricky bit now. This is going to be the tricky bit because we need to get the pipes perfect. So... That the reservoirs are perfect. <laughs> I know what I want about in my head. Um, so let's just get everything that we need. Uh, do we need? I don't think we're going to need. We're not going to need the straight ones. We're going to need the reservoirs. Right. So what we need to do is put down this pipe. I need to make sure that it's level first, obviously. So that looks pretty level going up and down here. Looks pretty level. So now we're going to go along to the side. Uh, in the middle of this window, hopefully. I mean, we can just place it down. Uh, yeah, you see? There you go. So that is pretty much where we want it. So now we should be able to put railings around without it being obstructed. There's one. Let's see, perfect. Right, so now then, because you won't be able 
you won't be able to put another straight pipe down because it will try and connect to there as you can see it's green and red it will try and connect to there if you go here see it's still green over there it won't let you do it so in order to bypass that you want to put these down like so we've got three and then you can put your straight pipes in so if we go outside should let me now put straight pipe here. I can't actually see. It's a bit of a, a bit of a pain. So that's green there. We don't want it there though. We want it attached to there. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping that that's uh, that's done. The only way to find out is if we put our reservoir tanks down. Yeah, you see, it's attached it. Now we can just barricade that off like that. So we've got nice three tanks. What what I should have done really is put another lot up. Let's uh I've got enough tanks on me. Let's demolish these tanks quick. Uh we did have the vertical ones, didn't we? Let's put the vertical ones in. It's just to see if we can get two lots of tanks in. Because the more tanks we got, the more water we can hold, you see. So let's put one, two, three back down. Oh yeah, see, we can put them on top. Perfect. Perfect. So now we can just sort of build around. Oh no. Why? It's not... Uh... There we go sort of wasted some then. Right, so we need to build that up quite... Uh, I think that would be alright, maybe. I don't know, we might get rid of these. We might get rid of these. I don't think that we're going to need them. Here, we can probably put some compost bins again or something. Not too sure, but we'll keep them up there for now. Well, now what we need to do is we need to put the straight pipes in now. Uh, and then we can put the taps in. But I need it to rain, really, to to make sure that it's uh, it's working. So there's one tap. There's two tap. We don't actually need a pipe there because uh, that's our doorway. So let's get rid of that pipe. We now crop plot, crop plot, uh, crop plot, crop plot. Crop plot. So it's one, two, three, four, five, uh, and then we could probably have one there, one there. Can't have one here because oh, I'm dying. Can't have one here because you won't be able to get into the door. You'd have to keep crouching to get into the door, which can be a bit of a pain. But I know, obviously, we've got a doorway here. I think that's looking pretty good. I just need it to rain just to see if it all gets irrigated. So I think what I'm going to do is wait for it to rain. And I'll bring you guys back as soon as it starts raining. Okay guys, we are back and it is finally raining. Finally raining. God, it's been so long since I've been waiting for it to uh, to rain. But thank you. Thank you, art, art gods, for the rain. Now I can fill up my canteen. Oh, right guys, I've done a little bit of changing to the greenhouse while I've been waiting for it to rain. Uh, I've gone for three uh, water reservoirs instead. And I've put this fancy slope roof here. It's for the dung beetle cage. So we're going to go in and I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing. I've kind of put in a little second floor as well. But here we've got two large crop pots surrounded by metal railings. Now we've got four. Uh, three large crop pots again surrounded by metal railings. Here we've got the dung beetle cage. I've extended it. Uh, you see, so you come in here, go down, and then it's got a nice big pit for him to roam in. I might put a feeding trough with some poo in, but I don't know if they actually do feed off it. He's got a level. Let's put a level up. He's got another level. Two levels. Can we get to level 210? Nice, 212. 
Awesome, awesome. So that's the dung beetle cage. So we can get all the fertilizer. So I'll put the metal railings up so we can see through. Looks pretty nice, pretty nice. And then we got a balcony here, so we go up the stairs. Two storage chests so we can put seeds and poo in and fertilizer. I got two smaller crop plots for our narco berries or mejo berries, you know, whichever we want to grow. We can grow one of each. But they're irrigated by water, as you can see. It's a bit temperamental, but they are irrigated. But don't forget, three water tanks has got to irrigate every single one. So if I go through, they are all irrigated, which is pretty damn awesome. So 70, 294. So they are irrigated. They are irrigated. It's just taking a little bit of time. But I might try and find a permanent solution. So I know we got water down here, but I don't really want to be going down there, to be honest. But yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. Do let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you do like it. Let me just gather up a little bit, just so uh, you guys can see it. Is that a little bit better for you guys? Is that a little bit better? Looks absolutely awesome. Really happy with how it turned out. Really happy with the inside as well. I mean, I might change these to wood. It looks a little bit, looks a little bit crowded. But I might take this part out here and put a doorway here, maybe. I don't know. I kind of like it like this, this little like alcove thing. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice, but you never know. You never know. We might change it. We might change it. But no, it looks absolutely awesome. Everywhere, everywhere's got a tap. Everywhere's irrigated. So all good in the hood. So that's our greenhouse, guys. That is our greenhouse. But like I did say, we are going to be putting the uh, what have I got? It's a chemistry bench. I am going to be putting that in here so what I was going to do is knock out this wall uh, and then get our generator put our generator in I was going to put it quite far back I was going to kind of hopefully put it like all the way back here I mean if we put it say there maybe there uh, can we still access that if we open the door No, we can't. No. We only need to demolish it. Uh, okay. Right then. So that's a bit of a fail. So let's demolish that quick. Uh, I've got one more upstairs. Let's just go and get the, the last one. Uh, here. Nope. It's got to be in this one. Nope. <laughs> It's in this one. I've got, what, I've, got, I've got two left. So all right. We are all right. So, let's close that door back up. Let's try and put this in now so we can still kind of access it through the door. Let's put it... Oh, let's just go for it. I mean, the worst is that we just can't access it. Ah, now we can. Let's chuck some gasoline in there. Now we can access it, so that's pretty cool. We still shut the door. Nice. Uh, let's go put our cable on. And then our electrical box. Let's put our wall back in. Because we don't want to... Easy access to that. Now we should be able to put our chemistry bench down. So I'm hoping that the cable doesn't come down over it, but you never know, you never know. Uh, so I think there looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's just, should we just go for it? What do you reckon? Let's, uh, let's go in orbit cam quick. Oh, there, uh, I think, yeah, I think there is going to be pretty good, guys. Pretty good. And the cable's not too bad either. It kind of looks like it's going through that little dish. But that's alright. It's unpowered. So I guess it needs gasoline as well. 
So let's go and turn on our generator. Oh, just turned it off. Close the door. So, yeah. Is it working? It's powered! Yay! Now we can turn it on as well. Whoa! <laughs> there we go! There we go. We've got our chemistry table. Let's just go turn it off. Save some power because we don't need it on. I don't want to use it. I know exactly what it does. It's just an industrial mortar and pestle. So it kind of like, you know, narcotics, spark powder, gunpowder very, very quickly. Uh, I might show you in the next episode, guys. But I think that is going to be it for today. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. So I think I'm going to end it right there, guys. If you did enjoy today's video. No, Stevie. What are you doing? That's the map. We don't want the map. Guys, if you did go in to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. It really does show your support here on the channel. If you've got any questions about the server, any questions about the guys or any multiplier, taming speeds, etc., do leave your questions in the comment section down below. I had a bit of lag then. But guys, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any more videos uploaded to my channel within the future. Let's get to 3,500 subscribers. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. We can definitely do it. So guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll be sure to catch you all on the next video.